Um, and thanks for the uh, opportunity to be here. Uh, thanks to the uh, Maui Economic Development Board for hosting what continues to be a growing forum, and I don't think it's going to stop, theoretical limits aside, because the importance of our business is only going to continue to grow. Thanks to Sandy and Leslie for your leadership in, in, in this forum, and uh, General Shelton, thank you for the warm introduction. I also want to say uh, thanks to our newly anointed uh, chaplain, Chaplain Alika. Um, you know, I, I hope you all heard what he said. I was uh, touched uh, both mentally and hydrologically in the front row. Um, but I, I, so, so what stuck with me is, you know, I, I'm, I'm guessing many in this room were like me that grew up with an amazement for space and the universe and looking up and seeing uh, the wonders up there. Let's not forget the wonders of the creation around us here on this planet, which is pretty precious to us. That's the message I took. And uh, I guess I'll borrow from Shakespeare one more time. <laughs> um, if we fail to do that, the fault lies not in the stars, but in ourselves. Um, hey, also, uh, apologies to all of you that you have had to listen to James and Shaw and not to General Armanio. I mean, that was the real treat you all came here for and she couldn't make the trip. And one General James and one General Shaw does not even come close to one General Armanio. So apologies um, on, on, on the behalf of, of the Air Force that we couldn't get her here. We'll see if we can get her here next year. Um, General James it laid out a, a pretty, pretty strong mandate. It is our job in the services to support US Space Command and its mission as it's now stood up as the newest combatant command um, in, for our, our, our Department of Defense. And the challenges are daunting. By the way, space situation awareness is a challenge that is not going away anytime soon. It's going to be with us for centuries, for millennia. So we're only just exploring the very, the very beginnings of it, really, as a collective here um, in, the, in the last 20 years of the SSA conference. I wonder what will be discussed in the 220th SSA conference here at Maui. How far will we be talking about how we need to understand space situational awareness to increase economic development within the solar system, to increase exploration, and, and to provide protection as needed? It's an interesting trajectory that we're all on, and it's exciting to be part of it, and thanks to what you do. So what are we doing? Well. We know that in order to get more effective space situation awareness, that we have to develop capabilities that aren't limited to just what they've done in the past in terms of space traffic management. They've got to be uh, looking in places we've never looked before. They've got to probably operate in timelines that are shrinking all the time. Um, and they have to be prepared for new kinds of SSA challenges that we did not have to deal with before. And those things all together um, are, are, are the challenges laid out for us to support U.S. Space Command, but also our broader government and our governments, and our commercial interests. And I don't think that we can do that, we cannot do that, unless it is part of a much broader team, a, a band of brothers, that is able to work together on this. And so that teamwork starts within the United States government, and so, again, we've already begun teaming with the Department of Commerce to make sure we sustain the mission of space traffic management that, again, provides safety in the, in the space domain, uh, not only for commercial and government payloads, but also for uh, uh, exploration. It, it, so, so it shouldn't escape any of us that the International Space Station routinely gets warnings of if there is a potential collision, and it's operating in low Earth orbit. As we continue space exploration out to the lunar sphere, that challenge remains. How are we going to do that? And I think the answer is going to be a collective effort between the Department of Defense, um, NASA, but also from other partners, both uh, outside of government within the United States and our international partners, to be successful. So it's within government we need teamwork. It is with industry. Industry is part of the solution, and part of the responsibility is on you. In order to continue the economic development in the space domain as we move forward, it's going to be driven by economic engines, and part of the 
the understanding and the transparency and the safety of operating in that domain will be also part of commercial responsibility. How do we team together to do that in the most effective way? And then um, that teamwork definitely extends to our international partners. We need to do this as a team. It's the way we have always done things the best when faced with challenges of an international and a global nature. And we will continue to do that. I know that we're going to have Director Mori come and talk to us here shortly from Japan. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to, to say that I had the chance to be part of this solution set um, uh, last year when I, when I traveled to Tokyo and we began the, the process of, of, um, of uh, a project together to put an SSA payload on the Japanese QZSS navigation satellites. So there will be three of those satellites launched in the next few years. Um, these are uh, navigation payloads at uh, the geosynchronous uh, realm. Um, um, they range from geostationary to inclined at geo. But we'll be putting some SSA payloads on these that will be of benefit to many in understanding better what's going on in the geosynchronous realm. I think the last thing I'll mention is um, as we look to support U.S. Space Command moving forward, what will be interesting is how a United States Space Force will be part of that. This will be a very interesting construct. For those of you who understand how our military is uh, constructed, we have our combat commands that are warfighters. And then the service components, traditionally for a combat commander, that would be the Air Force and the Navy and the Army and the Marines, provide forces to those combatant commanders to, con to succeed at their mission. A U.S. Space Command will also need service components, and it's going to need parts of the Army and the Navy and the Air Force and the Marines. If we have a United States Space Force, I'm thinking I know who the, probably the primary um, provider of forces is to U.S. Space Command. That will be a very important binary star um, uh, relationship moving forward as we stand up a U.S. Space Force and make sure that it is, organized, it is organizing, training, and equipping effectively to support U.S. Space Command, as well as to support many other um, endeavors that our government will need it to, to uh, assist with. So again, thanks for the opportunity to be here. We're sorry, General James and I are both sorry that it couldn't be General Armando here, but thanks so much for what you do to make part of what we need to do to answer these SSA challenges a reality. Thank you.